cafes or places to hang out that are comfortable that people like to work occasionally? That we could sort of locate ourselves at? Yeah, um, primarily. Lee and I are new to the area, and we need a place to work <laughs> that is away from the office that gets noisy sometimes. The <laughs> area, where's the area for you? Yeah, Echo Park, Park so the like. Anybody else? Definitely not space line. Yeah, you can. <laughs> 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 what is it? Yeah. Ford Fog Cave. Franklin in Hollywood. Okay. Free Wi Fi and it's comfortable. It's Silver dark. That's the catch. Oh, good. 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 Silver Lake Coffee Company is great. Okay. Okay. And Glendale? Yeah. And Glendale. Alright, cool. Well, uh. Glendale says ideas. Finally. Yeah. In We're going to have a little networking hangout session at the end like we always do. Okay. Uh, without further oh, ado. Islands afterwards. Sure. We'll have a break in the middle. I, we'll, we'll brief everybody. Yeah. Um, I want to get started because uh, actually Scott's here and he's uh, he's um, been grateful enough to accept doing a, a whole night with us. So uh, let's give actually Scott Nelson a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. All right. Okay. Let's do this. Services. Um, how many flash guys in the house? Oh, come on. Come on, <laughs> just, just raise your hand. Yeah. How many people want to work with Flash? Want to? All yeah, right, I'll do a little more. Flex. Yeah, there you Thank go. Thank you. Okay, um, going to be talking mostly about Flash tonight, but there are some great tutorials on Flex around. I'll point you to those spots, uh, like my book, Drupal.org, Product <laughs> Services, Chris and Hassan's book, groups.drupal.org/slash services. Do you like the book, Scott? You're I do. Reading it? I do. Thank I've you. been uh, reading Chris's book to get up to speed on Flex. I'm kind of new to it, so it's been great. Yeah, very helpful. <clears throat> oh, here we go. So who am I? I'm Scott Nelson. You can email me, Scott at this by them .com. This by them is my company. We do Drupal development, Flash development, Flex development. Um, you can get us at thisbythem.com. I've been using Drupal since summer of 05, so it's been about three years now. And of course, I wrote the services and uh, AMF PHP modules. Something I thought would be cool is, for those of you with laptops, I set up a chat room with Campfire. So if you want to go to that URL, thisbythem.campfirenow.com, E-D-0-D-F. Um, you can ask questions on there. If somebody knows the answer, answer it. Um, and I've also uploaded some support files to the demos I'm going to be doing. And if you have a laptop, you can follow along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice laptop. Yeah. So, what is this services thing? What we're really talking about here is web services. Um, and how that pertains to Drupal is we want to get data out of Drupal into other applications, um, be it a publicly available API or a, um, a private API. In the case of Flash, uh, we might be dealing with a, a, a private API. Um, web services, we mean SOAP, XML RPC, REST, and when we're dealing with Flash, we're often talking about AMF, which is um, Adobe's uh, solution. Yes? Sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the URL for the chat room? I should probably I've left that up somehow. Uh, there you go. And anyone trying to get onto the Wi Fi, it's, is it the it's path key is 0 through 9? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What, what is it about? The uh, key is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it's 64 bit text. Everybody cool? You can follow along on your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let you in. We're not going to let you in. Huh? Did it work? Too many people in the chat room. Uh oh. Did I not pay for it? Am I using the free one? I didn't pay for it? We can go to IRC too. Uh, uh, um, check out the Drupal LA chat room on, on IRC. Yeah, IRC. Okay, you can do that too if you know how to use IRC. I didn't think of that. That kind of sucks. Um, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Yeah, I'm sweating. 
I got it. What is the services module? Okay. So the module is essentially it's an internal API for Drupal that allows you to create an external API. Um, what that means is that you can create both server and service modules within Drupal using uh, Drupal's hook system. Now a server is, so <coughs> XML, RPC, AMF, it's the protocol uh, for transferring the data, uh, client protocol and the server protocol. What's your question? Um, it's, what's AMF again? I'll describe that more later, but it's, okay. um, it stands for action messaging format. It's a format uh, that Adobe came up with um, to, to basically get data in and out of Flash and Flex. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk more about it later in a bit. So services also, is, it's a collection of pre-cooked uh, service modules that allow you to interact with Drupal core. So things like loading nodes, saving, deleting nodes, um, working with uh, views to get lists of nodes, taxonomy, uh, terms, um, there's, there's several other uh, services and, and uh, methods you can call. It also includes an XML RPC server out of the box, which um, works with Drupal's core XML RPC. And I'll demo that a little bit, in a little bit. Where did this thing come from? Well, when I was evaluating um, different content management systems. One of my major needs was to, to find a, a backend system to hold data for the, the Flash apps that I was working on. And, uh, and as I started to dig into Drupal's code, I realized that it's, um, it can be a really sweet backend for Flash sites because you have this full-on administration interface out of the box. And I just need to figure out a way to get that data out of Drupal and um, into my Flash app. So I started with uh, writing custom XML, you know, going through, Drupal has a, a menu system that allows you to map URLs to PHP functions. And you can basically output, you know, you, you have to code the XML yourself, but you can spit that out to the browser call that URL from the Flash app, parse the XML. Um, it takes a lot of work in, on the PHP end and it takes a lot of work on the Flash end to uh, sort of facilitate that. Um, so then I started looking at uh, Drupal Core's XML RPC support, which essentially you can take a PHP object, serialize it into XML, run it over the wire into Flash, and then if you have an XML RPC client on the Flash end, you can turn that XML back into a native Flash object. So a node, which in Drupal is um, it's a standard class, it's like an anonymous object. You send it over the wire, it ends up as an action script object. So you don't need to worry about you know, looping through your XML um, or anything. You just you get that, that native data type. Uh, it's, it's translated and, and ends up as a Flash native data type. It was great, but you still were dealing with having to parse XML. So there was bandwidth uh, overhead as well as, um, as processing overhead on the client. AMF PHP allowed you to use um, the AMF format, which is binary, it's light, it's lean, and there is a built-in uh, encoder and decoder within Flash to work with the AMF format. So it's super, super fast. Um, so what I did was I took the AMF PHP project, which is a separate project from Drupal, and found a way to just drop it right into um, a module and um, work within the, the Drupal Bootstrap, which gives you access to all the internal Drupal functions, like loading a node, you know, all this different stuff. And uh, I released this as a module for uh, 4.7. And then, uh, Adobe asked me if I could make it work with Flex, that's not my water. Um, it, the AMF PHP at the time, it, um, didn't, it didn't have the right um, backend system to be able to work with Flex. Flex had like a newer, uh, I forget what they call it, it was like a format or something? Uh, it was the uh, third version. It was the third version of the AMF. Protocol. Protocol, so um, AMF PHP at the time couldn't support that. 
So they contacted me about making it work with, um, with Flex. I used the opportunity, I, I'd kind of been thinking about this grand um, uh, API that would abstract the actual um, logic, the, the methods from how they were being distributed over the wire, how you were connecting the Drupal didn't matter um, with the, it didn't, it didn't matter how you were actually um, providing the code. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. It's kind of hard to explain. But. Um, so AMF PHP module for Drupal 5 now depends on the services module. I just wanted to find a few terms really quick. Um, when I'm saying services, they can mean a lot of things, but I'm actually more often than not referring to the services module itself. Views. Um, how many people don't know what views is? The views module. Everybody knows what views module is? Okay. Views module is, it's both a UI, it's like a query builder for nodes in Drupal and nodes are like um, content, or types of content. With views you can say, I want all my story nodes, I want to sort it by their created date, and I want to display it in a list. Um, and so with services, you can actually call that view and get that list of, of nodes uh, into, your, into your Flash app or your Flex app or whatever else. Um, server, I'm talking about a web service protocol, SOAP, XML, RPC, AMF, et cetera. And service is a collection of methods that you can access um, via remote. What I'm going to cover, I'm going to show you right off the bat two example implementations. These are sites that we've worked on um, to kind of give you an idea of what's possible with this stuff. I'm going to show you how to install services, I'll show you how to test your own services with the services browser. Um, services comes with uh, a services browser that you can basically um, pass arguments to these um, these methods and see what kind of data you're going to get back. So you have a way of testing it um, without having to actually create a separate client. I'm going to show you how to load a node with XML RPC using the node load, using the node service and uh, the node load uh, method. We're going to create a hello service, which is, uh, I'm going to show you how to create a custom service module, essentially. We are going to make a service call to Hello Service from a Flash movie. So I'm going to show you how to connect to Drupal with Flash using ActionScript. And then I'm going to show you View Service. And we're going to show you how to get a list of nodes um, out of Drupal and into Flash. Are there any questions so far? Does this seem to make sense? Yeah? What kind of methods are suitable um, for collection into a service? What kind of methods are suitable for collection into a service? Yeah, what, what kind of methods, you, I mean, you said a service is a collection of methods. What kind of methods can you have? Anything you want. Um, methods typically have um, a namespace. Mm -hmm. uh, so like node, all the, the, the methods that relate to nodes are under the node namespace. So we have mm -hmm. node.load, node node.save, node.delete. Um, Within the, the uh, service hook, hook service, which I'll show you in a minute, um, you're not limited to any specific namespace. So you can actually, within the same uh, method definition, have methods that relate to nodes, taxonomies, anything. So it's kind of up to you to, to logically group those methods in the, the namespace that you want. Yeah. I just wanted to get this straight get this straight because that's exactly why I came with integrate more flash and flash with, mm -hmm. with Drupal. So I guess before you came up with this, you could I'm sure you could always if you had say a web service somewhere else, you could have tapped into that right from anywhere and mm -hmm. plugged it in, but this is what you found and built it into the core so that you can actually just what make it do a quick service within Drupal. I've created a module that's um, available within the contrib module uh, area of Drupal. It's not part of core yet, although there's been talk about that happening. Um, so you download this services module and you plug it in uh, to your Drupal site, enable it, 
and it gives you uh, several different services that you can work with to interact with Drupal core data. So you can, you can pull nodes out, you can uh, pull a list of nodes out using views module, um, you can get taxonomy terms, um, you can log in a user, log out a user. So you get all this stuff sort of out of the box. You don't actually have to code any PHP to get um, those, to make those kinds of things happen with Flash. Right, right. Is this one way only from Drupal out externally? Or no. Can I bring it? No, so with the uh, with, um, EAMF protocol, it's, it's remoting. So um, like in the, in the case of node save, you know, we're actually sending data back to Drupal and we're saving a node. Yeah, so it goes both ways. What if I wanted to do something completely different? If I wanted to integrate, say, uh, Java, or JavaScript, uh, can I use this same module to Absolutely. Use? Yeah, and one of the demos I'm going to show you tonight is um, actually using XML RPC. So I'm going to have a, a Drupal site set up over here and an XML RPC script set up over here. And we're going to pull some data out of Drupal into this this XML. Good. Yeah. I was wondering if you could mention the the uh, other modules that are forming the ecosystem around services like view endpoints and services support, and those of them are becoming up today. Um, I don't know all those off the top of my head. Um, a good place to look is probably the services project page as well as the services group. And probably at some point here, I'll go through and comprise a list that I'll put uh, update on the project. Cool. Anybody else? Yeah. Okay. Show you some examples. This is probably, um, some people probably know this site. This one is uh, best design at DrupalCon. It's um, actually not running services, but I just I wanted to show it because it's cool and it's actually like an ancestor of the services <laughs> module. So a lot of the work that I did on this is what eventually led to what the services module is. And it uses extensive use of uh, node load and views get view, but it's not in the services module. It's actually coded in uh, regular AMF PHP classes. So let me show you this site for those of you that don't have left. And you're going to want to click on the blue side. Don't see anything. It's, oh. Yeah. Where's that? Okay, this is going to be a little bit trickier. There we go. Get this the right side. This was done in Flash 8? This was done in Flash 8, so after script 2, Flash 8. Now, everything you see here that has anything to do with data is loaded from, uh, from Drupal. So like, for example, this jukebox right here, all these tracks are actually um, node types in Drupal, and I'm getting that out with a uh, view that's configured to give me only uh, a list of these track node types. So when you click on one of these, I can't remember how I did it exactly. I don't think that's actually doing a node load. I think all the data is already there. But um, let me see how that works. You can actually cruise around here. Is that menu maybe using the menu uh, in Drupal? No, that's okay. actually not. Yeah, the the menu is hard coded. So you click on discography. It's the same thing. All these disks are loaded in. These are all, this is disk node type. Um, you can see there's a lot of disks here. Wow. And when you click on one of these, it you know, brings it up. Empty. So another cool thing, so these are all sort of read operations that you're seeing right here. If you go all the way over to the left, it's guest book. And please don't post anything unless it has anything to do with Eaton, but why did I get all these random posts? Um, so you can actually post this guest book from here, and this does a, uh, these aren't, I think I wrote a custom uh, 
service for them. <coughs> and it uses guest module, which is for 4.7. I don't even know what the state of that module is now. But if you write something here and send it, it'll send the data to Drupal and then it'll reflect, refresh this list right here and you'll see it right at the top. And I also have uh, paging going on here, which actually queries uh, Drupal each time you click a separate page. So, so how is it making that query for XML purpose as well? Or? No, it's actually using um, AMF PHP. It's using the AMF oh, PHP okay. module for okay. 4.7, yeah. Okay, I'll show you one more. This is um, like a, hi it's a hybrid um, sort of implementation. This one actually uses Drupal 5 and the services module. The website is griffinholdings.net and the page I want you to look at is, uh, we're gonna look at is slash project. It uses, uh, I think it only uses node load. Let me show you this real quick. Uh, Projects. Okay, so I got this list of projects here, and we're actually using Flash to, to view the project. So you scroll down and just click on something. It uses JavaScript to tell the Flash movie, hey, I want to load this node ID. And it does that. And the, the node, the, the project node type has um, an image uh, field for CCK that has multiple images. And so you can see it gets all that data. Did development on this one go much faster and smoother than your first one? Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually upgraded this. Um, this was originally done with XML RPC. Um, and so I upgraded it to use, we actually upgraded it to Drupal 5 and in the, in the process of that I, I switched it over to services. And it was like, just plugged it in, changed a couple things and it was good to go. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So installing Drupal in the services module. Is everybody, how many people don't know how to install Drupal or haven't? I think you asked that, but I didn't really see. Yeah, I think we're kind of good. Yeah, that's good because we did a whole session on it last uh, yeah. month. So I'm not going to show you too much how to do that, so that's, that's my point here. And for um, those who haven't, tried, uh, those that raise their hands, there's actually, in the resource page, there's a video that I list and it's installing Drupal. Perfect. So we're going to download the latest Drupal 5 release, which I included in the assets uh, zip if you went to the chat room, or can't get in, sorry. Um, I have a local, local testing server set up already. Uh, going to follow the Drupal installer and do the initial configuration. This will only take a sec. So. All right. Get the mouse back. Pull Drupal over here. Extract it. <coughs> I gotta change it to Drupal because that's where I have my web server pointing to. You gotta mirror your yeah, mirror the displays. Sorry. There we go. Actually, yeah, you're right, mirror it. I don't know if that's gonna screw up my keynote though. Um, so over here, services demo dot local is where I have my set. Oh shoot, I need to change my. Name. Oh, this, uh. We lost our stand. Comprehensive list of settings required. Is there like a checklist? Of yeah, all the settings for Drupal are entirely in the settings.php file that you can configure kind of by hand, if you will. Okay. There's comments in any any piece of Drupal code that is shipped in core. There are extensive comments, and I definitely would read those before I read any online hand docs. I kind of went the other way around. Uh, 
the comments actually explain more, I think, right up front than the docs do. Comments are where it says the settings on PHP. Yeah, that's the uh, configuration file that uh, Drupal basically runs its connection scripts from and a few other base things. That is so true. It's so sad. I know. Which means really api.drupal.org, the API website actually should be the official doc site. But, you know. <laughs> okay, so I've just installed Drupal and I would have had this already done, but I'm lazy. Um, I'm just gonna change my password in case. I need to go and enable clean URLs. And that's it. Great. Is this running on D5? Yeah, this is Drupal 5. And the clean URLs was quite important, correct? Uh, yeah, because AMF PHP uh, for some reason doesn't work without clean URLs enabled. I think it's because it tries to append a session ID yeah. to it. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, uh, so it's required to have clean URLs turned on and running in your Drupal websites when you're going to be using AMF PHP. Uh, but if you're going to stick with any of the other services, uh, ser ser service, 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 okay. you're going to stick with JSON or XML RPC, then you don't need clean URLs? Yeah, it's only for AMF PHP that, that's an issue, as far, as far as I know. Um, could be issues with other ones, but I don't think there are. Is services compatible with Drupal 6? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any um, reason you've selected 5 for the demo? Uh, because it's, the 6 support is still kind of, um, not totally there, um, especially with AMF PHP. Uh, it's only AMF PHP head actually supports Drupal 6, but there hasn't been an official release yet. Yeah. And so I just wanted to go with the stable one to make sure. Okay. That's good. What was your question? Oh, that's 